Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Sharp R272 Solo Microwave. What I want to do today is to show you around the microwave, some of the features and benefits that it offers, and why if you're in the market for a budget compact microwave, then this could be the one to go for. Just before I start, all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel, just give us a quick thumbs up. What I do is I talk about household appliances, I do specialise in cordless vacuums, and there's normally a bit of tech in there as well. First of all, this model is actually available in three colours. We've got the white, which is this one, then there's also silver and black. But apart from the colour, the functions and everything are exactly the same between the three models. A common part of the conversation when people are looking at buying any microwave is will it fit in the space? Uh, as far as this model, because it is quite, quite a compact one, uh, but nevertheless it's always worth having to measure, uh, this one is actually 43 centimetres wide, or around 17 inches. The height of it, you're looking around 26 centimetres, or just under 10 and a half inches. And then the depth of it, so front to back, you're looking around 33 centimetres, or 13 inches. Uh, something else that people want to know is the capacity inside. So this model has a 20 litre capacity, which for some people means something. For, I suppose, most people, 20 litres doesn't really mean a huge amount. What most people want to know is, can I fit my dish or my plate inside it? Uh, as far as the width on it, so the overall width, you are looking around 27 centimetres, or just over 10 and a half inches. Uh, the, and then the depth of it, so you're looking a little bit deeper, so you're looking around 28 centimetres, or around 11 inches. And then the height of it, so if you're going from the, the glass turntable, then you're looking around 16 centimetres, uh, or just under six and a half inches. So although they're the internal dimensions, it doesn't necessarily mean you can fit something in there to that size, because clearly, because you've got the glass turntable in here, then what you need to do is you need to make sure that the plate or dish can rotate inside. As far as the size of the turntable, so you're looking around 25 and a half centimetres or 10 inches. So that's really the maximum size of plate that you'll be able to put in. So what I've done now is just got the microwave plugged in. You can see that it's got the light inside, just shows you that it's switched on and ready to go. Uh, when you first switch it on, you'll see that you've got the quite nice display here. It's a, just a green LED display, and this can display the time. Uh, to set the time, it is quite a simple process. You just press the set clock first of all, and then that starts to flash. Uh, and then what you do is you just press the, uh, the time on here. So at the moment, I'm gonna set this because it's quite Quite early in the morning at the moment. Uh, I normally try and record my videos quite early. So we're looking at 10 past seven, exactly. So 10 past seven in the morning. And then once you've done that, then press the set clock and that's done. So nice and easy. Uh, and then if you want to change the clock, then you just press the set clock again and just go through the same process. When it comes to operating the microwave to go, it's really easy. All you need to do is select the power level that you want. And this is normally on a percentage basis, so it goes down from 100% down to, we've got 10% and then 0%. Uh, and what it will do is, so you've got the full power at 100%, and really for those, that's really used for things like reheating, things like casseroles. As you go down to around 80 or 70%, uh, that's really used when you're, I suppose, warming up things like meat low for meat joints, things like that. And then as you go down to the medium setting, which is around 50%, that's really used for, I suppose, a lot of cooking that should be operated within the microwave. Uh, what I have done is I have used, I have recorded another video, uh, I'll just post a link here, uh, just giving you some tips on using the microwave, because I do feel that a lot of people are using the high power settings, so it would be the 100%, really where you shouldn't be using it. But anyway, so what I was saying is that you've got the, the 50% is really used for uh, I suppose reheating uh, things like a lot of ready meals. As you go to down to the lower settings, so you're looking around the 20 or 30%, that's really for things like defrosting. And I did mention earlier that you have got the 0%. I know a lot of people are thinking, well, why would you want it to work uh, when it's not heating at all? Uh, but all that will do, that will just operate with the fan only, and that's no heat. Now I'll just show you some of the other functions that it's got. Uh, you've got a couple of defrost options. Uh, now, I suppose the only thing I'd say is when it comes to defrosting, especially meat, just be really, really careful uh, to make sure it is fully defrosted. 
Uh, personally, I'm not a huge fan of defrosting meat in the microwave. Uh, I'd much rather I'd ideally take it out of the freezer beforehand and let it defrost naturally in a fridge. Uh, but I know it's not always ideal in that situation. You might want to defrost it a little bit quicker. Uh, so if you do need to use a microwave to defrost something, then you've got two options. You've got either time defrost or weight defrost. Uh, I suppose time defrost is pretty self-explanatory. All you would normally do is to select the time defrost button and then you select how long you want to defrost for. And then once you've done that, just press the start button. That's quite simple. Uh, the other option is called weight defrost. And again, this is really designed for things like meats. And all you would do is press the weight defrost button. Uh, once you've done that, then you set the weight of the food. So just weigh it beforehand. And what this will do is this is in kilograms. So that's 0.5 kilograms. And then once you've selected that, then just press start and it will go through the defrosting process. Now the next options on here are called auto menu. Uh, and these are six preset uh, options on the microwave. So if you wanted to heat something up, then this could be a really, really useful guide. Uh, the first one is popcorn. Um, what that is, is that's in kilograms, so it's either 0.05 kilograms, or if you press the button again, then it's 0.1 kilograms of popcorn. That's actually quite a bit. Uh, 0.1 kilograms, so 100 grams of popcorn is a fair amount. Uh, it does show you the instructions on what to do as far as the, the bag that you put in in there. Uh, but all you would normally do is select that, uh, put it in there, clearly shut the door, and then press start. Uh, the next option on here, is the jacket potato and all this will do you're just selecting how many potatoes you've got in there and this is assuming that they are medium-sized potatoes so around 230 grams each uh, and then all you do so if you've got three potatoes then just once you've selected that just press start and away it will go and the timer will count down the next option on here is the pizza and again it's in weight format so all you do is you just select the weight of the pizza that you've got in there. So at the moment that's 0.4 kilograms. Uh, the next one on here is the frozen vegetables. And again, it's in weight format. So you're going from 0 0.15, 0 0.35, and then 0 0.5 kilograms of frozen vegetables. Uh, this is quite a good one, reheat tea and coffee. So all you would normally do is just select how many cups you've got. So if you've got three cups of coffee that you want to warm up, then just press the, the three. And then once you've done that, then just press the start button. And then the final one is dinner plate. And this is really good just for uh, rewarming something. So if you had a, a dinner the day before, if you've saved it in the fridge and then you just want to heat it up, then this is a really good option to use. Uh, and because it's weight orientated, you need to know roughly the weight of the food. So it's not including the plate. Uh, this would be just the, the food itself and You've got the option on there for 0.25 kilograms, 0.35 or 0.5. So if you've had a, a massive dinner the day before, then you could be going for 0.5 kilograms. One of the final features to show you on the microwave is this called kitchen timer. Uh, this can be really useful if you don't necessarily want to cook something. If you just want to use the microwave to time something. So if you were, say, boiling an egg for, say, four minutes, then press the kitchen timer. Just press that. So you've selected four minutes and then press start. So it's not using the microwave at all for cooking. It's just using it as a countdown timer. If you've been impressed with this, and if you are thinking of buying one of these cheeky little microwaves, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Sharp R272 Solo Microwave. All I normally say is please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video and click subscribe and leave any comments below. I always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad about the video. Hopefully I covered pretty much a lot of the functionality that it does. If I have missed something or if you're after some more information, then just pop it in the comments. Also, if you have got one of these microwaves or a similar sharp one, then let me know what you think about it because I do always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.